You can play video games while you're driving. It is crazy. I can literally sit here and play games. What? I, like my foot is off the gas. So disclaimer, I do not recommend anyone to play games or perform any other task while driving. That will be distracted driving. Courts do not take kindly of people who cause wrecks due to distracted driving like this one. In a first of its kind case, a California man is charged with felony manslaughter for a crash that's been linked to Tesla's popular autopilot function. That crash happened back in 2019 and left two people dead. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Six Star Driver here, back with another video. Today, I will be talking about the Tesla Model 3. Yes, the big EV critic is in a Tesla. Never liked them, probably because I never driven or been in one. The closest I've got to one is towing it, but it was driven on and off the ramp, so that doesn't count. Had this for almost two weeks now, and I've realized not too many people have been in this car before. You know, most people don't even know how to open a door. Today, I'll be sharing my experience in it for the past few days and also answering some questions that you might have about it, like charging, autopilot, and so on. Let's go. As you can see, this Model 3 comes in a beautiful pearl white paint with black accent, black panels, including the sunroof, and also black Euro wheels. It stands elegantly sophisticated, yet so simple. It runs on all electric, no gas, there's a clean fuel reward and other incentives that comes with owning one. It comes with three different drivetrains, a rear wheel drive like this one here, a dual motor, all wheel drive long range, and a performance model. Tesla is mostly recognized for its popular self-driving feature. In order for it to do that, it has a few cameras and radar on the car that I will be showing. There. There's one here. Another one there. Oh yeah, it's charging right now, but I'll get into that later in this video. rear view camera here by the way go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for me right now if you haven't done so yet do it now camera here and there it has a panoramic sunroof meaning it's all glass on the top the views from the inside are just insane now let's move on to the interior of the car. Tesla kept it simple and elegant. You have a clutter-free cockpit here with a large monitor that controls almost all the functions of the car. There aren't a lot of buttons in this like most cars have. You have a clean black leather trim with some wood grain finish. Correction, all vegan interior I should say. Softer than leather, yet far more durable and more stain resistant. It is a custom engineering seated material that is more sustainable than traditional seated materials, maximizing comfort and aesthetics. In other words, the seats are built tough. Got a wireless charger. You can easily charge two phones at once on a non-slip controlled surface and a tiered storage underneath the armrest. The expansive glass roof provides passengers with a brighter, more spacious experience and a seamless view of the sky. Infrared and ultraviolet light is effectively blocked before entering the cabin, reducing heat and glare even when the sun is directly overhead. This is the key to get into the Tesla. You walk to the door. Locks the door. Unlocks the door. To open the door, push and pull. Then you have access to the car. Once you get in,
start the car, take this key, put it down here. All right. And then you push the brakes. Open the door. And push. Put it in drive. Tap down. It's in drive. See that car in front of me. So now we start heading home. Thing is so quiet inside. Uh, it also senses a yellow light. If you notice, it changed to, to red. So it basically uh, reads, I guess the radar kind of reads uh, whatever light signal that's it's shown in front of you. Right now, I'm currently at a red light. So it's showing the red light on the screen, as you can see. There's a van, it's sensing that van in front of it, and it's also sensing a car that's also across over here. And this car is passing by, you see that? It's passing. It has a little twitch over here. I don't know what's going on behind me. It's trying to figure out where this guy is exactly. Okay, light turned green, it's green light. I just updated the software this morning so see it does the same thing I believe Honda has this option too where whenever you put on your blinkers uh, to turn to each side it's gonna turn on the blind sport blind spot cameras so that's basically what that was on that side so I'm gonna be making a left it's gonna show up again over here sense that guy Blind spot camera for my left side. I saw that guy. It's reading the speed sign. Sensing all the cars. I mean, the only takeaway from this car is that you don't hear anything. It's very quiet. You know, when you step on, when you step on a gas in a regular car, you can hear the sound, you can hear the engine going. This is just, this feels like a roller coaster. So you don't hear anything, it just goes. It's instant torque. Um, once I get on the highway, you can see, I'm gonna get to show you guys a little more. Uh, how this thing accelerates from basically zero. Quick, it's too quick. I did that, no hesitation. No hesitation, <laughs> it just did that, like this. I didn't feel it, it just gripped me on the, uh, uh, like took me back and gripped me on the seat. It's pretty badass. Sensors. I guess what everybody really wants to see when it comes to Tesla is basically, can it drive itself? So what I'm gonna be showing you guys is the autopilot. Okay, the autopilot, as long as I have this gray marker over here, the gray steering wheel, 
I can turn on the autopilot, which is that. I put the, the, the cruise control at 53 max. Auto steer. It says, please keep your hands on the wheel. Be prepared to take over at any time. So basically, I'm not like, you're supposed to be on alert and watching the traffic, making sure you can take control of the car at any given time. So that's basically what I'm doing. But I'm just showing you guys how it's keeping in lane. I'm not touching anything. My legs are not on the uh, gas or the brakes. My hands are not on the steering wheel, but they're very close. So just to be safe, the car is basically turning itself. It's maintaining distance between that vehicle in front of me. It's not getting too close to it. Uh, pretty soon this thing is gonna start beeping and telling me to, to take control of the vehicle. Traffic is slowing down in front of me and the car is slowing down. And uh, keeping in lane of traffic, okay. Slowing down when it has to. It's turning. It says apply slight turning force to the steering wheel. So I apply slight turning force to the steering wheel to take it over again. But my hands are close to the steering wheel just to be safe, because that is what Tesla wants you to do. They want you to be aware of your surroundings. They want you to be able to take over the car just in case. So it's slowing down because that car was pushing its brakes. I'm not stepping on the gas or stepping on the brakes at all, all right? It's just doing, it's going based off of that vehicle in front of me. So if he moves out of the lane right in front of me, this car is gonna keep up at 53 miles per hour. So I'm going slower than, slower than traffic now. So I have to pick up a little bit. Just to disengage, I stepped on the brakes. So I'm out, out of the autopilot mode. I'm basically in control of this vehicle now. Keep your hand on the wheel and be prepared to take over. So I'm gonna stay right here, ready to take over at any time. See how long I can go with this. The screen itself, it's just a whole monitor here that you can basically do anything. You know, you have a bunch of apps on this thing. But I don't want to touch that right now because I'm driving. I want to focus on the road. So when I park, I'll be able to show you guys a lot more of the functions and additional applications that this thing comes with. Okay, it's slowing down. Find a lane. Sometimes it, it gets a little confused, especially at that intersection. I'm trying to figure out what exactly, what exact lane pattern it was supposed to follow and it didn't really quite get it, but now I'm back on a normal road. I'm gonna put it back, activate it. Auto steer restricted to 40 miles an hour. Okay. Okay. So now, 
I'm at a traffic light, car slowing down, slowing down, slowing down, slowing down by itself. Touch it, sensing that vehicle in front of it, picking up speed by itself. Stay in the lane, it's going 24, 25 miles per hour. So if that car picks up, the max is gonna go is 40 miles per hour because it's set at 40 max. Hands are close to the steering wheel to take over at any time. Now that you've seen how this thing drives, time to show you how to refuel, or should I say charge this thing. After a long drive during the day, I was left with 5% battery life. Luckily, I was close to a Tesla supercharging station. So there are two ways to charge your Tesla. You can either find a supercharging station like this one, or plug it into your own outlet. With supercharging, you get a full charge within 45 minutes to an hour. Crazy. If you charge it at home, it can take up to 12 hours to 24 hours to get fully charged. Well, I'm charging. Big difference. Go on YouTube and watch one of my videos. Okay. Let's Another thing to keep in mind when considering a Tesla is the power efficiency when it's cold outside. You know when it's cold out and you have your phone out, the battery drains faster? With Tesla, it's somewhat similar. In addition to the low temperature, it requires more energy to heat up the car, hence reducing the driving range. Right. This is how you charge the Tesla at home. It comes with accessories, cables that you plug it into an outlet. And you can see it takes forever to charge compared to supercharging, which is about 45 minutes to an hour. You have the front and you have the trunk. So to open the front trunk, tap that, that's open. And the rear is open. Let's go see what that looks like. That's the front. There's a lot more to this car than what I've shown you here in this video. As I spend more time with it, I will keep updating you guys. Hope you liked the video. Smash that thumbs up if you did. Thumbs down if you didn't. And let me know why in the comment section. See you guys on the next video. Peace.